part of the head and the body is placed on the left side of the canvas. And it depends how much long you want to have uh, this bird be. Uh, I would like to, this is nine by 12 inches actually, the canvas. I want to place it the top of the head here. So start, take the paint, place the top of the head here. Imagine as a side, this part is for the tail. So it's not really big, it's tiny, not really, but it's a little bit small circle. So I try to draw this circle. If you compare it with the size of my canvas, it's not much big. And this is the big, like a long triangle shape. And don't worry anytime we can fix the shape of drawing and anything. Just we want to know about, have an idea about the size and the body. And then if it was, if it need more fix, we can add more details. So make it further. So hold the canvas is visible for you now. Yeah, yeah. So start from here to there. And again, the body is like a C curve, convex and concave. So you can come a little inside, then long, bring it out like that. This kind of shape. I just make it a little bit darker. The reason I go with the blue because the color of the bird is blue. So it's easier to do drawing with that. And then imagine from the top of the hair, head start, connect it to the body, come like that, and then move this way. Then you can leave your line or maybe a little smaller like that. Yeah, that's better. So you see, even I do fix my drawing as well. And then cover that part with the background color. So that's better to go like that. And then the details will come on top later. Start with the bigger size of brush, take the light mixture of yellow and white, apply on the center close to the head uh, of peacock. This is lighter part, even you can apply with a pure white color in between as well. And then yellow color for the edge of the canvas. I'm just going to mix the yellow here on the edge, add more pure paint on the edge of canvas, and then the mixture with a lighter tone when I'm close to bird. And the reason is these two color, when, when both, both of them be wet, they mix together very nice and blend together. So the background move on so smooth and soft.
Know that white can make every color be light. Black can make all the color be dark. So if you want to make your color lighter, you can just add a little bit white into that. And because of eye, we need a touch of black, a tiny bit of black as well to add in our palette. So please premix this two color and then add a touch of black. Then we can start. For this part, uh, for the background, I go with the bigger size of brush. For peacock, I'm not going to use bigger size. It's okay if I have a smaller, I go with that. And feel free to start with the pure cobalt blue. I'm not seeing any details right now on the face, on the head part. Just try to cover it with the pure blue. And even if I mix the background, come inside a little bit, now I'm going to back fix it, the shape, bring it back to the background a little. You can go smaller, or you can go with a smaller brush and just very slowly and clean at the circle part be just a bit more accurate. Then bring it down. As I mentioned, anytime we can fix the shape. Now it's a time to fix the shape as well. So just with the pure blue. Still, it's too light. Yeah, maybe it's nice to mix the blue with a little black to make it darker as well. It's nice to have darker tone. I really love to use with the colors and play with those and make light and dark at the same time. So... Take black, mix with the blue. It give us a nice dark blue. And then we can use it on some part of the head and the neck. So I take this one. On the edge, I would like to use this. Yes. Light and shadow, it gives us a nice feeling of our painting. So I use on the edge, both sides, left and right, or even bottom and um, top part. Move on with this. I'm going a little slowly because I want to be accurate on the edge. And after I use the tip of brush, I'm going to use hold the hair to lay, uh, to let the paint sit on the background. Even if you use the thicker paint and be visible here, the brush stroke would be nice too. And then back to the pure blue. It can mix with this darker blue and give us a beautiful blending. I really love heavy paint, so I let it be visible, all these brush stroke. And without any worry, I'm coming to this yellowy part. And then on top, I will bring it back with that. Now it's time to go with the green. You can bring some green beside that. Back to darker blue with the black. So just play with the colors. I'm not using light tone right now because if I bring the right light color, it doesn't give me this feeling of darkness. I will bring light color later. Let me finish with this darker tone. Even the green. So far, I'm going to use blue. Uh, blue, black, and green.
and I use really heavy paint. I hope you see all this texture I make on top by brush stroke. I leave the brush stroke be visible. I'm not with it. Let it fade. I can bring some green on the head part as well. Randomly add on here. Even the darker color. And I'm going to, uh, uh, we already have the green, that's fine. Now I would like to make the grayish color. So if you take some white color and some black, you already can make the gray. So this is the gray. Maybe more. But I recommend to not just uh, ju just use this gray. When we want to bring it here, it's a bluey color. Just a touch of blue when you bring into the gray. That's cool and nice because it makes your grayish color be more grayish bluish. So it's nice. So I'm going to take this grayish color by smaller brush, shape the beak, bring it down. As I told, the top part is lighter. It's tiny bit, so bring it just a bit like that, like a curve, big shape of curve. For the bottom part, which is light, uh, darker, we can go with the black color. Just the pure black. Bring it down. And a little bit on one line on the center, this part. This can make the thick. And then again, back to the grayish color, we move on with this part, just one C curve into the neck. My blues is still wet, but it's okay. It, they can mix together. I'm not worried about that mixing. It's nice. And one C curve on the top of the head. Like into the forehead. And the reason my painting is still wet because I use heavy paint. I really use heavy paint to see the texture on top. I really love texture because of that, it takes really time to get dry. Maybe sometimes half an hour, even for acrylic, takes time to dry. So this is good for this two line. And then I'm going to use a little bit green close to the gray on the bottom part of the face. Just add some brush stroke. Even close to the eye because the eye is dark. So you can bring some other colors close to that to make it colorful. Even like inside the neck and be like that. Then I'm going to take the pure gray, uh, black one C curve with gray on top, one C curve on the bottom and one with the green. And then take the black. Now I shape the eye, just one C curve on top and one circle inside. This is the eye, but it's not really visible because both sides is dark. Now I'm going back to the gray. Try to add one grayish color beside the black to shape the eye be more visible like this. And just for darker green, which is this one, I try to mix yellow with the blue. I love that. Mix these two together and make the dark green color. The other color that we need, if you don't have any purple, it doesn't matter. Just take the blue tiny bit blue, mix with the red, 
Then you can already make the purple. This is like a purple. Sometimes we need lighter purple. So we need a touch of white. Add to that and make lighter purple. More paint. And then we already have the red to use it. So I'm going to take the smaller brush first. Take the red color. I want to place it two on the top part, like a drop. One like that. Shape it like this. The size is not much small, a little close to the size of the head, but not much big. The second one, the third one, just to start with one color, it makes it easy. And then we will add another color on top. So the other is beside this. I just go with one color and then add more around it. And another one close to that. And if you see, I'm not moving to the center. I try to add more toward the right side, just the right side. And it's in an angle. All this drop, I'm going to shape it toward, facing toward the right. But when I'm close to the, uh, here, the bottom part, I try to shape it more with angle toward the right more. And just two more I would like to add like this. Clean the brush, take the blue. We want to design this. So bring the blue on top of this red color. Randomly add some blue around it. On top of it, sorry. Just on top of it, some brush a stroke with the blue, which is interesting. Like that. After you finish with this, we need to make it a little bigger, but close to that, it's another color like the white color, like the yellow color, or something like the green color. So after that, one by one, we make it bigger and add more paint on top. Even we can do right now, just, I go with the green. Even on, around it, I want to have some green which is interesting to add another color. It's so nice when you add a lot of color. Then we want to make it in some case bigger like that. With this blue, with this green, lighter green, if you feel more comfortable. so far. Lighter tones easier to start. So take some pure white color. It's more close to this part. So pure white color bring it close to that. 
you can use heavy paint even if they mix together would be okay just close to this bring some pure white color even close to that i just randomly add some and not cover exactly hold the part just add one like this like this bring it a little top even you can do another curve on the other side close to the head bring it heavy paint some inside some out especially close to the body i try to use the tip of brush more and bring more white color into the body like that shape it like this feel free to add more paint just everywhere you like that make it more interesting and even beside this white color we need to take some pure yellow to bring i bring some pure yellow especially bring it out like that here more You can add yellow and even if it's cover white color, you can bring it back with the white. some this feeling of color somewhere like that like it like a flower you can add stem for those even at the same time with the red bring some red here in between make it look like interesting like the stem it's like a line but i just want to let you know you can imagine it's a garden of flower and use different colors to make the stem. Red and purple at the same time. Napkin is so helpful to have it always.
on the top of the head with the red color and I'm going to use it tip of pointy brush straight to the canvas try to take because it's so narrow and tiny first of all I just draw the narrow line like this line and even if your paint is thick you can use water to mix with it and let it be runny runny style of paint it's easier to move on then again bring back with the red color all these should reach this part you can add one two three four five i think or maybe it depends to this section i'm going with the five and then the top of that it's better to be more details like a thicker paint you can add some more details on top it's more narrow when it's uh, rich to the head. And even you can use another color, not just one color, like a pinky tone. Pinky tone, when you mix red with white, you can make the pink color. Bring it randomly somewhere to reduce this sharp red color on top. Even you can use it on the line that it's connect to the head. And it's better not all of them in one uh, level. You can bring one of them taller, one shorter. It's nice. Some this way, that way. So like that, I add more pure white color and some to make it more disappear. 